All right, so we're ready to start cutting on this thing. All right, this is an exciting thing. I know a lot of people haven't ever done it before, but trust me, I'm gonna walk you through it. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, let's talk safety first. Uh, long sleeves, usually when you're cutting, I don't always wear long sleeves when I'm cutting, but it's a great idea too, because there's gonna be sparks flying everywhere. And then you need to wear your normal PPE, which is your boots, gloves, glasses, and earplugs, because it's very loud. And then another thing when you're, we're gonna add is a face shield. This is just a cheap face shield. It doesn't take a whole lot. We're gonna stop sparks from, uh, from flying into there and hitting you in the face, okay? That's the whole goal of this face shield and metal pieces and whatever else. So let's get to cutting. All right, so before we get to actually cutting, I want to show you some grinder basics. Um, I know a lot of you have ran grinders before, know how to do it, but this is for anybody that doesn't. It's only going to take a, just uh, less than a minute probably. So here's your grinder. This is the one I'll put, I'll put links to everything that I use in the description, okay? So here's the grinder. This is a DeWalt grinder battery. I like to leave the battery out. It's best, it's safest to leave the battery out whenever you are um, changing. I don't always do that, but it's the best to. And so you just press on this button here. This is to change this to change this wheel or to install it when it's brand new. It's, but it's the same both ways. So you want to push on this little lever here, and that's going to lock that in place. Now this will not move. I got that held in. This will not move. This is the Allen wrench that comes with it. Put this Allen wrench. Push the button on the back here. That's going to lock this in place. You put the Allen wrench in there. There's a spot for the Allen wrench. You put it in there. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. And then you can take this little collar off. That comes off. The old wheel comes off. New wheel goes on. Now there is a, I'll, I'll usually put the, put the label up. So as you see, there's that metal collar in there. I generally put that facing towards the tool. We put our collar back on, put it back on finger tight. And then you just cinch it down a little bit more with the Allen wrench, let go of that, boom. Now, some things to remember, when you cut, this thing will spin, okay? It will be spinning at a very, very high rate of speed. So you, I generally like to be, have it positioned to where this thing will pull away from me. That way it's not kicking back at me, right? I think that just feels better, it's easier to control, it's easier to maneuver. Some situations you won't be able to do that, but most of them, if you can, that's the best way I go about it. And also, this guard. See this guard? This is going to prevent sparks from flying in your face. Now, it's not always, you're not always going to be able to prevent that, but that's the best. Now, on this one, it's got a lever here. You can see that little lever in there. You push that, and that will allow you to rotate this around however you'd like to best position it to guard from sparks flying in your face, okay? So that is the basics of that. Of course, I use an eight amp hour battery that gets me a little bit longer life. I've got a couple of them, so you can rotate in and out. By the time you drain one, the other one's charged. It works out great. So now let's actually start cutting now that we know the basics of a angle grinder. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna actually start grinding now and I'm gonna be cutting all of this stuff off. Now, most dividers on the horse portion will just have, um, have little holes that it actually can just, uh, just lift out of easily. Somebody modified this and actually welded everything in, so this is gonna take quite a, quite a bit of work to get all this cut out. Now this manger divider, is almost always welded in, so it takes some work too. But uh, let's get to grinding. Like I said, try to 
Try to adjust the, the guard best you can to keep it away from you as you go to cutting. And uh, you'll see how it goes. I'll make some cuts just to get most of this stuff out of the way before I go back and clean it up real well. So here it goes. Be sure and wear your face shield. Same thing on one above, one below, and same thing on all this manger. So watch your toes, watch where it's going. Best thing to do is stand out of the way. That way when it falls, it falls inside the trailer. Just like that, it's, it's gone. So now we got to work on the manger area. Cut this stuff up front and get that going. Too. We'll come back and clean all this stuff up later. I'm going to remove this vertical right here. All that's for is for this to support this manger piece, right? That's all it's for is to tie that on. I'm going to cut it off because it makes it a lot more open up front. So first I'm going to cut down here and around and then I'll cut up top. 
I might have to change out my blade between that. change my blade. It's loose on the bottom. Now we're going to do the top. Watch your toes. pieces out. Now you'll see this whole thing's clear inside. So now we've got all this out. We're going to start on the floor and the walls cutting that out. 